Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where purpose are discovered and values are given. In the country today, we have so many good teachers but they are not well paid. Reasons are because some of them don't know how to develop their skills as a teacher and earn better. Why most of them don't know those benefits that attract you becoming a teacher or a tutorial master. A quote says, experience is the best teacher. You can't give what you don't have. I personally have teach and I have the experience. So if you have been battling with how to start off a tutorial business and earn better from it, in this video, I'm going to share you some tips on how to easily start up a tutorial business in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa. So stay connected, I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Tutoring business is a lucrative part of business that can grow you into full-time passive income. There are several advantages if you start up your own tutoring business. The first one is it is flexible work schedule and low upfront cost. Based on my research, for instance, if you start up with a number of 10 jam students, you can earn nothing less than 150,000 naira monthly and over a million naira from that same set of students if you put some structures in place. This shows that this business is so profitable and interesting. If you have passion into learning how to build this business, I'm going to share you some steps if you are still doubting how to start up a profitable tutoring business in Nigeria. Step 1. Identify your clients. You first need to start out by deciding who and what you want to tutor or teach for you to influence your entire business plan. There are some questions you need to ask yourself about your ideal targeted client. The first question is, which grade do you want to tutor? That is, identifying your subject matter and your teaching style. These are very important. The next question is, do you prefer tutoring for a test or an exam? The next question is, do you prefer a group tutoring or one-on-one -on -one tutoring? You need to provide answers to this. And the last question is, do you prefer tutoring locally or online? That is which we call a physical class or online class. Once you can provide answers to this, it will help you to identify the best profitable client you need to start up with. Step 2. Build your subject matter knowledge. After identifying who your ideal client is, the next step is to build your knowledge on a given subject matter. And here is how to do it. The first one is find a niche to teach. For instance, if you are very good at teaching science students or probably art students or a business student, just pick one department and focus on it. Make sure the one you are picking is the one you are very good at. And if you are probably teaching for the purpose of a test or an exam, SAT, WAEC, JAM or whatsoever exam, make sure the exam you are preparing them for must have been the exam you yourself have written before. This will give you enough experience on how best to teach them. The next one is stay currently with syllabus. Syllabus help you to know the materials or text equipment that you need to get yourself familiarized with. For you to meet educational standards. The next one is put yourself on a study schedule. You need to prioritize your day. For instance, if you want to teach math, geography tomorrow, or English next tomorrow, you need to prioritize your day. Know what you want to teach after the other. This will help you to prepare yourself before that day comes. And the last one is learn how to teach effectively. There's two different things. You can prepare very well and don't know how to teach. Teaching is a skill you need to build. So learn how to teach. Use a language that they will easily understand. So that is how best to build yourself. So how these are listed now, if you follow them very well, it will help you to build a very good subject matter knowledge for your tutorial business. Step 3. Choose a tutoring business model. There are actually very few business model you can choose when starting up your tutoring business this includes getting a franchise from an existing tutoring business run an home-based tutor business or you actually decide to 
do what they call traveling tutor. There are some tutorial masters that love to put their address why some don't like. So it's your choice. But make sure you choose the best business model that's suiting for your tutoring business. Step 4. Register your business. It is very important to choose a name that's suiting your tutoring business. After you have chosen a name, you need to register it under Corporate Affairs Commission and get your tax identification number. Once this has been achieved, you have chosen and you have been fully registered, then you can proceed doing your trademarking if you have more resources to do that. But the most important thing is register your name so as to avoid paying extra fines. Step 5. Separate your personal and your business finances. It is very important and a practical idea for you to learn how to separate your personal account from your business account, especially when you form a limited liability company. This will help you to prevent you from risks of legal protection. Step 6. Create a business budget. After identifying the type of tutoring service you want to offer, it's high time to calculate your startup cost, which I call the capital, and your operational cost. Learning how to create a business budget can be so intimidating, especially when you have not done it before. And this helps us to avoid any errors being made. It also helps us to minimize costs and maximize profit. Step 7. Determine your prices. There are a few ways for you to determine the best competitive prices. The first one is research the competition, consider your location, and factor in your experience. This will help you to determine the best pricing for your tutoring business. Eight, market yourself. For you to have a very good marketing plan, you need to follow this step. Perfect your elevator speech, offer a discounted rate for startup, Build your online portfolio, make a business card for your business, and set up a referral system. Many of us don't know how to get this achievable. You can always comment below or you reach out to me. Hello everyone, Tutorial Business is actually a very profitable business if you know what you are doing. You can actually take it section by section or you take it different departments or you take different courses you know you are very good at. And if you don't know how to go about it in some areas or some courses, you can actually hire someone to partner with you to make everything easier and to profit from this business. If you know what you are doing and you strategize very well, you actually make a lot of money in it. In conclusion, for more business advice, mentorship or consultantship on how to increase your sales funnels or make this tutoring business more profitable than you expect or probably become a millionaire in the next six months, you can actually get in touch with me by commenting below or contact the number display on the screen don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel put the notification button on see you later Thanks.